Hello and welcome to this walkthrough video guide. Uh, if you got stuck somewhere, I will go through every single puzzle in this video. You can skip to that point or you can just watch me play through the whole thing. Uh, we are going to go through the basics of every room. So, it's best advised that you skip to the part you're stuck on if you are stuck on a part. Now, clearly here on the wall it says every puzzle is fail proof. So, basically no matter what you do in a puzzle room, it's still solvable. I have playtested that a lot. There is one known glitch where it may not uh, be fail proof, and that is the elevator. If you and the ball go through the elevator, uh, I believe it, like in the first room of the elevator that is possible, uh, I don't have a fix for it, and I don't think I can make a fix for it, so that that's just unfortunate. But every other problem in every other room is fail proof. I have play tested it extensively. Now, no animal counts towards or affects a puzzle. This is important because this room would actually affect the puzzle if it did. Uh, however, there's always going to be a fox and an owl and a frog. The owl and the frog are always looking at each other. This is an amphibia, an owl house reference, don't worry about it. And there's always a fox shown in the corner because I just like foxes. Now, this is the first room. As you can see here, G, B, Y, R. This is the first time you have to actually think. This is green, blue, yellow, red. And you have to count the amount of blocks to put in for the password. So as for green, we have three blocks here. One, two, three. The frogs do not count. So you just put in the three, which I already have something put in there. So you just uh, rediscard that and then three. And then this is one block here. I made it tall and long because it just seems out of place and you might not count it, but it is indeed one. So then we have one blue. And then for yellow, you can see that we have one, two, three, four yellow blocks here. And the fox does not count towards it, even though that's yellow. So we put in a 4, <clears throat> and as for R, which is red, we have 1, 2 red blocks. So with that, we can then move on to the next room by putting it in and entering it. And we just walk to the next room, and you are not allowed to go back to the previous room because that made this whole game not fail proof when I tested it, so I took away the option. Uh, now this room is, I would say, obvious, and it's not really supposed to be a puzzle, but it's to help you learn the mechanics of some later rooms. So up here you can see that there's this little part sticking out of the roof and it's a different color. You just follow it, because it's an invisible path. If you do so happen to jump off of it, you're down here, but there is another way back up. So Then you can just simply go and follow the path, and you can see the frog, the owl, and the fox chilling over there. And then you just put in the code one, two, three, four. This one's practically given to you. This room, I'm going to show you a shortcut if you haven't, but any light blue blocks you can move. And instead of putting it over there where it's uh, kind of trying to get you to go, you can just put it here. You can knock this block off like you're supposed to. And then you can just move it over here into this uh, little hole right here. And you're supposed to do this. That way you can have enough height to get up to the next level. Then we just take this block off the corner of the wall here, and then we just need to push it up the ramp. Which I have noticed um, may be a problem for some, because it's a little difficult. If you move your character left and right, it will move faster. You can just straight push it, but it's a lot harder. And it doesn't matter if it flips, because you can still get up. I've tested that, and I worked with it. Now, how many blue boxes? You have two. So you just put in the code two, and enter. This room, I forgot the name of this type of puzzle, but I did find it from like a newspaper or something anyways. Uh, so over here you have suitcase, treehouse, road sign, uh, wallpaper, firefighter. This is, <laughs> this is YouTube right here. <laughs> uh, cowboy, blowtorch, and crossbow. So then for blowtorch, you would put in eight. For firefighter, you put in five. For cowboy, you put in seven. And for crossbow, you put in nine, because those are the numbers that correspond with the pictograms, I believe it's called. And then this. I don't think mazes should count as puzzles. So therefore, I made it where it's not a puzzle. You can go over the top of it. However, what is, is finding these numbers. The first one is three over here. It's a really easy find. Second one is six over here, really easy find. Then you actually have to look around and, oh, what's that? Third digits, too. Now, I find this to be the funniest number because a lot of people will probably look around for this, but uh, it's it's right here by the door, right right there. Fourth digit is nine. So then we just do three, six, two, nine, and move on. Also, there's a fox right here. And then we just move on with that. 
Now this room is fail proof, but it's probably the most failable room because it's the first one in the elevator. And I will show you. So what you're supposed to do is bring the ball down there and call it for the elevator. I'm going to intentionally mess up how it's supposed to be and bring the ball down here just to show you that this room is indeed fail proof unless you go through the elevator. But that's actually a pretty rare glitch from what I've noticed. So then I just call for the elevator here and get the ball in and go to the fourth floor. I have a feeling that some players may have trouble using the elevator because it's not a very common feature. And you can see outside. I removed the wall so people can see outside. You know, this little cartoon sky. And as you see there, I almost went through the elevator, but it's actually kind of difficult to do so. So now we're up here and we bring the ball through this little guided section. A lot of areas here will be guided because if they weren't, then the rooms could be fellable to the point of where you'd have to restart the game. Uh, you don't have to put the ball in that hole, but it's you're meant to. You can bring it like over here, or you can just easily jump off of it anywhere in the room, really, pretty much. Uh, this is where I think a lot of people would very much dislike the game. So blue pieces, we had two. Uh, elevator floors, there's four. And lights. You have to count the lights on the ceiling and how many there are. If you want to do that for yourself, you can leave the video now, because I will be giving away the answer right now. So I've counted these lights over three times in my studio playtesting and whatnot, and the answer is there are 17 visible lights. So then you can go through, you just follow this pathway up here, and you knock this little block off to get up the seesaws. Now, not long ago, there was a problem with this room where that seesaw over there would not, uh, its block would not stay on it. It was still a, f a solvable room, because you could push the seesaw yourself. However, I have a feeling a lot of people didn't possibly want to do that or get through with that. And honestly, understandable, because that's not how the room's supposed to work anyway. So I fixed it uh, just, just like three seconds ago. And now it doesn't go through and it's completely fixed where you don't have to push the seesaw. And then how many seesaws? There were three in this room. This room, the light blue boxes are not here, but you can still push these green and red boxes. Uh, this was another room where I feel like a lot of people may have given up, and I'll show you why as soon as I get this green box down. So I like this room because it's a little bit more creative than some of the past rooms, like the third room was a good one, but you have to put that box there so you can get to here. And then from the second room you may remember invisible ceiling blocks. So in this room there are invisible blocks on the floor and you have to look at the ceiling to actually find where they are. That way you can get to the red block. I have a feeling a lot of people that have played this game so far have not noticed that and disliked it because they thought the room was unsolvable. I mean, that's just a guess, I don't actually know, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to find. And then you get the code here, 8426. I did this one on purpose because it's like a radial wheel, although I was looking at my numpad, so it was supposed to be 2486, but whatever. Uh, and then we have Welcome to the Last Level, there's a six digit code hidden around the room. I have a feeling a lot of people would also quit here because one of the numbers is technically not in the room. So here we have every single puzzle from the past rooms is in this one room all together. So here, first thing first, you might notice all the animals over there. Uh, one of the hidden numbers is right here behind this yellow block. It is six. And you can see that there's one color of each here. So then we just put in one, 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 one. And we can go through. Now this is an interesting one, I, I kind of like this, this is a new addition to this room, these yellow scaffoldings. You bring the block here, and you jump on the scaffoldings, let me bring it a little closer, and you jump on the scaffoldings, and you have to solve a pictogram puzzle again. So a card, this is a car plus a D, so it's five, and then a cab a knit, which is, this is a cab net, so four, and then carpet, which is a car and a pet, so this is six, and also, yeah. I know what you are. Alright. <laughs> then you go here, do the second digit. Second digit is 9. You can now drop through. Also, I made it so you can't just zoom out to see the digit. Because, well, that would be too easy. So, yes, our first two digits are 6, 9. Or 69. Now, the next four digits also make a funny number when combined. 
So then we bring the block in here. This is to solve it. I will actually show you what happens if you don't bring the block in here. If you don't bring the block in here, there's this little kind of maze thing. This leads to a dead end. And this one over here doesn't lead to a dead end, but it does lead, however, to a wall where you cannot get through to this ball. And it says, you can't go this way, uh, tongue out face. Find a way to get up to the ramp you saw at the start of the maze, which that is the ramp right there. And the way up is by bringing that light blue box, block, box here. And I don't think you can get it over this. And if you do get it stuck here, you can push it. You can over here and then push it away. So then you can just come up here. You no longer need that box, by the way. Don't worry about it. And then you see that the third digit is one. Then you just bring the ball over here and then up these, this elevator. This is another fail-proof room, it just may be a little tedious. Then you go to floor four. Any other floor will lead to that same opening. Oh, by the way, if you look behind you, you need to look behind you, because the fourth digit is three, and it's right there. But yeah, if you want to find the fourth digit, it's outside of the room where the elevator is. And also, like I said, any other floor in that elevator will just lead you to where you got the ball from, basically. So, still fail proof. Then you want to put the ball through this little machine here, and it will eventually knock it down, no matter what. And then you just come up here and jump into this room, and you get the fifth and sixth digit, which is three and seven. So now we have the numbers six, nine, one, three, three, seven. And that is officially the end of your six digit code. So six, nine, one, three, three, seven. And you have beat the game. You now get to enjoy two roller coaster rides, a swing set, whatever that thing is. And also, um, I, I don't think that works, so don't worry about it. Some of these things are a little bit broken, as you can see, but some of them work. I don't know. Have fun, enjoy the game. And uh, yeah, the game is completely solvable and 99% fell proof. Thanks for your time, thanks for playing, thanks for visiting. Goodbye.